Okay, last couple problems of the notes here. So we are going to um, take some, I guess, what, what would you say, more um, complicated uh, polynomials here with multiple variables and do some division, okay? So we're gonna take this expression here and divide it by 5a squared um, b. Now you can do long division with this, but honestly, I think it's easier to set it up as a fraction and then divide accordingly. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna take 15a cubed, b to the fifth minus 35a to the nine b squared. Students just typically um, are not huge fans of long division. So, um, so if you set it up as a fraction like this, you can break it into multiple smaller fractions by taking 5a cubed b over 5a squared b and then minus 35a um, to the ninth b squared over 5a squared b and simplify it that way. So it will look like this. Let's see if I can make it look halfway decent here. So 15a cubed over b divided by 5a squared b minus 35a to the 9b to the second divided by 5a squared b. Okay, so I'm just taking and breaking it into two fractions. Um, and then what you can do is take 15 over 5, that's going to be 3. a cubed over a squared, that's going to be a. So I'll have 3a, and then b to the fifth, b to the 1, that's b to the fourth. And then here I'm going to have um, minus 35 over 5, that's 7. a to the ninth over a squared, that's a to the 7. b squared over b to the 1, that's b. Okay, and that's my final answer. 3ab to the 4th minus 7a to the 7th b. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is um, to just not basically save yourself some writing. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to set this one up. This next one, oh, actually back up. This notation can be confusing here. Okay, anything to the negative power is 1 over that thing to the positive power. So just real quick note here. This does not go with number 6. But if you had like 7 to the negative 2, that's the same as 1 over 7 squared, okay? Um, that's what a negative power means. And so, or a negative exponent means. And so here, when I have this to the negative 1, that means 1 over xy squared to the positive 1, okay? So timesing or multiplying by 1 over xy squared is the same as dividing by that. So, you know, if I, if I take uh, 20, this is, again, just an aside, if I take 20 times 1 over 10, that's the same as just 20 divided by 10. All right, so I'm going to write this, I'm going to set this up in this way, 20 xy to the fourth plus 15x squared y to the fourth minus 5xy. This is all divided by xy squared. Okay, so now instead of writing this out as um, several different fractions, I'm just going to remind myself, this is by the way, this is kind of a shortcut a little bit. I'm gonna take the first divided by this, the second divided by that, and the third divided by that. I'm just gonna write those out. Okay, so 20 over x, 20 xy to the fourth over xy squared. So 20 over, well, there's a one here that we just don't usually write. That'll just be 20 x over x, that's just 1 over 1, and so that's, uh, they essentially cancel out there like that. Um, and then y to the 4th over y squared, you'll be left with y squared. Next one, 15 over 1, that's just 15, so plus 15. And then x squared over x, so that's x to the 1, remember, so there will be 1x left over, or 2 minus 1 is 1, think of it like that. And then y to the 4th over y squared, that's y squared. Okay. And then over here, I have minus 5 over 1, so that's just going to be 5. x over x, again, those are going to uh, simplify to 1 or cancel out. And then here I've got y to the 1 divided by y squared. That's going to be 1 minus 2, so y to the negative 1 as your, final an or as your answer. And then the book says, and I kind of agree with them, that you should, your simplified form is where you've gotten rid of all negative exponents. So 
I think you should end with your answer as 20y squared plus 15xy squared minus 5 over y to the 1 power. And because y to the positive 1 power. Because remember, y to the negative 1 is the same as y to the positive 1 in the denominator. Okay? And that finally wraps up section 4.3.